What is going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Now before we dive into this week's video, I just want to quickly take a second to thank all of you that have continued to support us over the years. Uh, we just recently hit 8,000 subs, which is a huge milestone for us. Uh, in the beginning of the year, we had set out a goal to hit 10K. We're definitely on our way there, uh, but it's been a while. So to show our appreciation uh, for your guys' continued support, we are going to be doing a giveaway, which we will announce at the end of this video um, you guys have to stay tuned to figure out exactly what we're giving away and then also how to get entered in for that giveaway we're going to leave that giveaway open for two weeks i'll select a lucky winner this is free for you no charge we'll cover all expenses and shipping um, just to give you a quick teaser i have teamed up with painted arrow outdoors for this giveaway um, so i do think that it is something that you guys are going to appreciate now uh, for this week's video um, we are going to be kind of shifting gears being that we are getting a little bit closer closer to the hunting season. And we're gonna talk about what we're gonna be utilizing for mobile hunting gear. Um, this is gonna be a couple part series. This week's we're, we're gonna focus on what we're using for filming. Uh, and then next week I have a very exciting video that I'm super excited about. I think you guys will be too. Um, and it's what backpack I'm gonna be running. I've made some significant changes to my overall setup um, in regards to that. Uh, and I wanna share that with you guys. So um, just like with all of our mobile hunting gear, we're constantly dying things in we're taking lessons learned from the previous year and rolling them into this year and when it comes to filming uh, what I was really looking to do is to consolidate the amount of gear that I was carrying out and I was also looking for products that were versatile so if I wanted to go from a big bulky setup to a more minimalistic setup and I really feel like this kit has allowed me to do that so we have two different packages here through painted arrow and I'm gonna walk you guys through what is on the table and then tell you guys what what my intended use is and what I really like about each one of these setups. So the first one that I wanna talk about is their Micro Elite package, um, which comes with a lot of different products, which again, really gives you a lot of versatility if you wanna run a super heavy setup to get image quality, or if you even wanna run a minimalistic setup. Um, so what's gonna be included in that Micro Elite package um, is their, their fluid head. They have a micro fluid head, and then it's also gonna come with two magnetic base mounts. They have their tripod mount and then they also have a flat mount now um, what I was most excited about in this package was by far the fluid head um, I've been on the market for a minimalistic fluid head that really fit what I was looking for and my specific needs um, I've ran inexpensive uh, micro fluid heads uh, in the past like the the Ulanzi one uh, but there was a couple things that I didn't really care for that head um, a it, for uh, a mobile hunting setup or a minimalistic setup that system does come with a return to zero spring already pre-installed. So if you're running it on a cell phone, being that you don't have the weight to keep that system down, it automatically tilts up on you. So you have to be very careful about always locking that tilt knob. Um, or like I said, you definitely run the risk of losing or missing that footage. Whereas the painted arrow one, you actually get both. It comes pre-installed um, with their standard spring. And then if you choose to run a heavier camera, camera like a DSLR then you can swap out to the return to zero but keep in mind the weight of a DSL current camera will kind of keep that forward without having to really lock down that tilt lever now uh, another really nice feature and one that I was probably most excited about is the fact that the base requires you to take an additional step to get that unlocked um, when you're bouncing around through the woods it's not uncommon that things get loose um, if that knob were to back out on the Ulanzi one and you attached your camera because I do use quick disconnects on my DSLR and then also my cell phone mounts. Um, if you attached it to it and that thing was loose, you're going to lose your camera off the tree. Whereas the painted arrow one, they do have a lock in place. So even if you back this out, you cannot remove that plate until you take that extra step and actually push in that locking mechanism. So it just adds a little bit of extra assurance that you're not going to damage your equipment out in the field. Now, some other small features that really sets this aside from the Ulanzi one um, is also you have the ability to adjust the, the locking levers for your pan and then also your tilt. Uh, what I like about that is if I'm running that head on a tripod and I'm just doing family shooting or I'm shooting off of the ground doing, uh, doing a ground hunt, I personally like to have those locking levers kind of pointed in the down position or in a position that's easier to access. Whereas if you transition over to a tree arm, um, having those in the down position is gonna keep you from doing a full 360 pan 
can, but with the painted arrowhead, those are spring loaded. So you can quickly just make uh, a fine tune adjustment and make sure that that's in a position where it's not going to hinder you from actually utilizing uh, the full motion of the fluid head. Now I did test this fluid head out and I was actually very, very surprised with the fluidness. I took some B roll. I'll share it with you guys. Uh, keep in mind, I'm shooting this on a A6700. It does have in body stabilization uh, and it does have an upgraded lens. So the image quality is a little bit better than what you would get from a standard cell phone camera. But like I said, I was very impressed with the fluidness of this head. Now, another really nice feature of this, and it's probably one that's kind of overlooked, is the ability to adjust the actual uh, fluid head arm itself. So um, if you're running it on a tripod, say you're doing a turkey hunt, it's obviously a little more beneficial to have it kind of angled down. You have the ability to adjust that, whereas if you're shooting out of a saddle, having it a little bit more angled up is going to be more beneficial. Like I said, they give you the option to kind of play around with that and really dial it in. Now, obviously with that fluid head, you'll be able to run it on a Lone Wolf Custom Gear pocket arm. You'll be able to run it on a standard tripod. And then what's also really sweet about it is in that kit, you also get their micro fluid head arm and you can run that fluid head on this attachment. So again, if you're doing a ground hunt or if you're hunting out of a climber, then you can go ahead, you can attach this and still use this as your designated uh, setup. Now, what I'm really excited about of this particular product is again, the versatility. I plan to utilize this as a second angle for my camera. Um, and I like this option because primarily I would probably run this on my Hiss strap and then I can just go ahead and slap my phone on it and my phone's going to be in front of me at all times. I'm not constantly taking it off my bow. I'm not taking it out of my pocket. I can see if I get any text messages. And then if an animal's coming in, obviously it's just a quick operation to get your, your camera opened up and hit the record button. Or obviously if you have a limb next to you, you can kind of go ahead and position it up in the tree. You have a lot of flexibility uh, with playing around with the different angles. And then also this thing is very lightweight. So to throw this in your bag or to throw it into a dump pouch on your saddle is definitely not going to be an issue. Now also included in that kit, um, you are going to get their standard tripod uh, mag mount and then you're also going to get a flat base mount. Now I'm very quick at abandoning uh, the tree arm and the DSLR camera because uh, it's very cumbersome. It's it's a pain to set up. I hate carrying the extra weight into the field if I don't have to. So I like to utilize some of the gear that I already have in my pocket, like a cell phone. And then I last year started utilizing a GoPro quite a bit. And I was mounting my GoPro to my stabilizer uh, by using uh, just a GoPro handlebar mount. Now, uh, this was a great option. It worked out. But the only downside to this is I also really like using the GoPro to do like vlog style recording as I'm going in or as I'm coming out or an after shot interview. Uh, and the pain with this is that it was very difficult to get it off of the stabilizer out in the field. I'd actually have to carry a screwdriver with me to back this out. And half the time I didn't do it, I would use my cell phone and the cell phone quality compared to the newer GoPros is not quite there. Um, these things shoot great 4K video, um, great image stabilization. So you get a really good image quality that's good for YouTube. But going into this year, one thing that I really wanted to do is just make it a lot easier to get it off of the bow and onto a selfie stick. So now um, with that flat base mount, you can see that I can just go ahead. I can slap my GoPro on here. I can extend this selfie arm out. I can get that wide field of view when I want to do uh, a vlog style video. And then when I get to my tree stand and I'm getting ready to hunt, I can just go ahead and pop this right onto my bow. That's a stationary camera. It never comes off. What I also like about GoPros, it is, is a, a one button push to get the camera on. They also have really good audio quality. And if you buy an upgraded mount, it does come with a wind muff. And like I said, it definitely, the, the audio quality compared to a cell phone is a lot better. Now, the next thing is the giveaway. So we will be giving away um, one of the Painted Arrow Mag Pro bow mounts um, to get entered into this giveaway. There is a couple things that you need to do. A, you need to be a subscriber of my channel, Painted Arrow, YouTube channel and then you have to leave me a comment below and then you also have to follow us both on Instagram. Now uh, I'm going to leave this giveaway open for two weeks. At the end of two weeks I'll select a winner. I'll post that video. We'll do it live as we do with all of our giveaways um, and then there will be a quick verification process. Uh, I'll reach out to you and you just got to show proof that you're subscribed to both of our channels and follow us both on Instagram and it'll be 100% all expenses paid uh, and we'll get that out to you guys. So um, again 
again, just a way for us to show our appreciation for your guys' continued support. Uh, Painted Arrow is a great company. They're based out of Michigan. They're awesome dudes. I love working with them. Uh, and then also keep in mind that a lot of these products are also available up at Sunrise Archery. If they're not, you can order them directly through Painted Arrow's website. But uh, that's it for this video. If you guys have any other questions, you know that you can leave me a comment below. You can reach out to me directly on Instagram. I'm always happy to help. And again, thank you guys for your support. We truly would not be here without you guys. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you on the next one.